How's it going, everybody? We're back watching Beastars. I think after the last two episodes, I think I finally got a hold on this show's weirdness. You know, a lot of my previous reactions were like, whoa, this show can't get any crazier. And you know what? Honestly, I think I've hit the point. I think I've finally gotten a hold on just how crazy this show can get. Not that I don't think there will be any more surprises, but from here on out, I think it's going to take a little more to really shock me with its weirdness, you know? Like, I think, I think I'm fully, fully on board now. So, with that newfound blind courage, or as some might say, hubris, let's get back into it. I'm Legum. I'm a hen. Hi, Legum. Nice to meet you. Since we're seated in alphabetical order, this rather slow male wolf sits next to me. Go to hell, Legum! Who does this goose think she is? Yeah, that's right. I said the G word. He always looks worried with his brows angled down. I secretly call him Sad Brows. Why is this the hen episode? Why are we switching protagonists seven episodes in? Oh god, I just figured out where this is going. <laughs> you sure love those egg salad sandwiches. Oh no, not the egg salad sandwich! <laughs> Oh no, is she like disgusted at him? Oh my god, he's eating it right in front of her. The thing is, the eggs used for the egg salad sandwiches he snacks on every Wednesday are actually my eggs. Oh my god! I sell my eggs to the school, more or less as a part-time job. What the fuck? Dude, what is happening? Tonight, some of us are going to see a movie. You want to come along? Oh, thanks for asking, but no, I can't. Staying up too late tends to bring down the quality of my eggs. Yo, I can't do this episode. Are you kidding me? I don't want to get into this one. I don't want to watch the egg episode. How did none of you warn me about this? You guys usually have my back about shit like this. Also, what the fuck is wrong with your eyes? You find a Nemo looking ass? Why are you all pupil? I work hard to produce high quality eggs for nobody but myself. This is what I live for. You know what? You know what? Good for her. Good for her. A hen's gotta have her hobbies. That's what I always say. Yeah, that's right. You wanna play with me, Beastars? You wanna mess around? You wanna get into the hen episode? All right. Let's play. I am going to get so invested in this subplot, they're going to have entire conventions dedicated to Legum. It's Wednesday and you're not eating your egg salad sandwich. Yeah, you know, it's weird. They've been tasting different these days. <laughs> oh god, don't tell me Legum's the character to snap in this show. <laughs> Did you ever think maybe it wasn't that special to begin with? Mm. You're dropping the ball, Legum? What happened? We're losing customers here, girl. You gotta get your head back in the game. Your eggs have become so popular lately. We sell them on Fridays instead. It's our busiest day. But I want you to remember this feeling. That fear you had that your whole life's work was about to fall to pieces. Hold on to it. And remember that even the stars can come crashing down to Earth. Now get the fuck out of my shop. Here I am. Lost again. In this solemn, quiet... What the hell is this? Go back to the eggs! This is the most beautiful piece of animation I've ever seen. Get it the fuck out of here! Are we done with the eggs? What happened? You guys don't understand the mental bandwidth it took to get my brain on board with the egg episode. Alright, you can't just take that away from me. Either give me 30 minutes of egg content or I'm turning this shit off. Push aside. There's no way out. It's a forest of solitude. Ugh, this bitch. Look, Louie is objectively the right choice. But I can't condone her hurting Lagoshi. Also, her grabbing his antlers during sex? Uh, pretty hot. Whatever, though. Whatever, though. It doesn't make me a furry or anything. I'm just saying, you know, wouldn't be weird. During Christmas time, I got some antlers and- Oh, sorry to surprise you. My horns fell out earlier than I expected them to. Jesus Christ, they can do that? Uh, yes. Can you swear? Oh yeah, I know all kinds of swears. <laughs> In fact, it's probably the biggest thing preventing me from getting any sponsors, but... <laughs> oh heck, I just love swearing, you son of a- That you'll never tell anyone? Oh. Yeah, I could do that too. Do I look that desperate to accept money from a bloody animal? What is she, British now? Zing! You need to just get over yourself, you got it? You're always gonna be the helpless little Bambi in my eyes. Who's Bambi? Just sit tight, okay? No, wait, I have questions about that, too. It's a young animal's duty to produce descendants. 
my family already arranged a wife for me so I could succeed the family name. Oh, wild. What is this arranged dear marriage shit? This show has so much more world building than I ever expected it to. I don't know why I thought this would just be a high school drama except everybody's wearing a fursuit, but I'm wildly impressed with the amount of animal lore they've crammed into this world. But geez, an arranged marriage, I can't even begin to understand how hard that must be. I... I think I'm finally starting to get Louie. I've been drowning myself in myself and I know I'm waiting for somebody else to drag me out of myself but myself is just so overwhelming and maybe that's why people step aside so they don't get caught in the undertow and maybe that's why they say I shine so bright so they can let me burn alone. But these horns on my head are nothing compared to the thorns I feel inside. And I know I'm a deer, nothing like a lion. So why do I live in this pride? Because a step for you is a mile from me, but I'm still keeping pace. They tell me to quit, I tell me to quit, but I'm still in this race. And I pray and I pray and I pray I can make it, I have to every day. And I pray and I pray and I pray I can take it, I pray, I pray, because I am prey. I'll call you again. Ugh, I can't believe these two are ho OH MY GOD! Hey. What are you doing here? Why is Legoshi all of a sudden 11 feet tall? What, is there gonna be a twist where it turns out he's a dire wolf? That her and I are friends. Friends? Look, I know this is proper deer anatomy, but I don't like how impressed I am with Louis's jawline. I swear to God, it's like all I can focus on right now. I just wanted to say hi. I came here because... I guess I really wanted to see her. I am not looking forward to the inevitable explosion this is setting up. Both of these characters are absolutely capable of murder. I don't want to be there when one of them figures it out. Not her thinking anyway. Just because I don't give her all my attention? What the creep? Uh, I'm sorry. So, uh, are you two good friends? I mean, it sure smells like it. What did she tell you? Well, nothing really. Then we're just friends. Friends? Legoshi, you just did this like 15 seconds ago. Even if you don't believe him, you gotta stop being shocked by his answer by now. Hmm? Looks like... I got taller again? Dude, no way my direwolf theory is correct. There's no chance Legoshi turns out to be like a super wolf or something, right? You're here early, Legoshi. Uh, yeah, well, I was just, uh... You should go talk to her. Uh you know what, honestly? Juno and Legoshi isn't a bad idea. I'm down with this ship, at least you won't want a fucking eater. Looking at her standing there, I mean, even I would think that gray wolves are beautiful creatures. Okay, nobody get too excited. Legoshi practically says this about everybody. Remember how beautiful his friend's beak was in the last episode? I've never danced before, so I don't know. <sighs> oh, fuck. Lego, she just went from, hmm, I've never danced before, to, I don't dance to music, love. Music dances to me. You feel the same way? Yeah, I feel it. When you're a sophomore, you're gonna learn about it in class. What the fuck kind of class is they teaching here? If the same species physically come into contact with each other, it's proven to be very relaxing. <gasps> so when you get anxious, feel free to grab my tail. <laughs> oh, Lego, she. You dog! I bumped into a hedgehog just now and his spine stabbed my shin. I thought he grew <laughs> up to be a f- I don't know why, but there's something so funny about hearing Legoshi bust into a room and just start bitching about a hedgehog. Especially with Jonah Scott's, like, New Yorker accent. Let me tell you, this fucking hedgehog, I'm walking down 31st Street, all of a sudden, here comes Sonic! I thought he grew Was up he to it? be a fine, upstanding Boy, citizen, but he's clearly headed down a dark path. I mean, rabbit porn? Oh dear god. Please do not confront Legoshi about this. You like what you like, it doesn't matter. Insects, rabbits, anything at all is totally fine. Holy shit! Well, you know what they say. A flying kick is the mark of a true hero! Ah, I'm so sorry for looking, I won't tell 
another soul. I, I, I swear, I promise. You're handling this real well, Lego. She acting, acting like a real smooth operator about all this. So I wanted to consider it from different perspectives. Uh, doesn't that mean that you're in love with her? Whoa, easy there with the L word, buddy. They've had like two conversations. That's weirdly a big pet peeve of mine in media when people just start throwing around the phrase in love. Lego, she's vaguely interested in her. He knows like none of her hobbies. He doesn't even know her last name. Hey. You conniving minx! Why are we still flirting with Legoshi? What is, is Louie not enough for you? Pick a guy, my guy! Uh, are you two good friends? Uh, you and Haru. What did she tell you? Well, nothing really. Then we're just friends. Oh my god! Here comes the explosion! Haru, that expression on your face, please stop. I, I can't take it. Especially now, since I just figured out what this feeling is. I am in love with you. Cool, great. I'm sure he's gonna handle this in a really healthy, insane way. I mean, that's what that face is telling me. Brief episode transition. If you like what you're seeing here and you want to help support the channel while also getting access to exclusive content not found anywhere else, make sure you consider subscribing to my Patreon. There, not only will you be helping support the channel a ton, you'll also get access to exclusive reaction videos not found anywhere else. A lot of pages will be like, subscribe to my Patreon and you'll get an extra five minute long video of some behind the scenes content. But not here, you're getting full reaction content. On top of that, you also get access to my exclusive Discord server where you can chat with me and other people within this nice little community we've built up. But if that doesn't sound like your thing and you still want to help support the page, make sure you leave a like and a comment on this video. It really helps out a ton. I never used to think it did. It turns out it really, really does. So check out the link to my Patreon in the description below if that interests you. And if not, please make sure you leave a like on the video if you liked it. And on in the next one. Let's go back to school. But it's only five. The mayor wants us to leave. Don't tell me. It's because of yesterday's news, right? Yeah, I just realized. Is anybody looking for this murderer? This just become a way of life for all of them? How's this show not also a murder mystery? Are you a Cheriton student? Huh? Mr. Mayor. Oh wow, this guy looks stupid. Why do some characters not have irises? Can you imagine if half the people on Earth only had pupils? That'd be horrifying. My duty as the mayor. Oh, nice ponytail, doofus! I bet if I got devoured, nobody would even notice. <gasps> Haru. Hi. Yup, really handling this information in a nice, healthy way, Legoshi. Why don't we head back together? Oh, uh, sure. But why? Because it's extremely dangerous out there, you know? Well, she's dead. Guess Lego she's gonna kill her. I don't know how else I was supposed to interpret that. What? <laughs> what is happening to Lego she right now? Why is he just sitting on the razor's edge between handling things rationally and going fucking ballistic? Was he just joking around? <laughs> Maybe I should have responded. Yeah, it's dangerous because of you. Okay, no, but it is dangerous because of him. To be honest, it doesn't sound that convincing coming from you. Well, wow, this place really love vegetable. <laughs> I can't tell if that's an ad for a brand called Love Vegetable or like anti-carnivore propaganda. You'll never understand how it is to feel as if you're always close to dying. Poor Lego, she is constantly surrounded by people with way bigger problems than him, and yet he's still the most depressed character in this show. No way. I said let me go. No. Are you harassing her? What? He super is harassing her. Hey, wait, stop. Why are we running? There'll be even more suspicious. You dummy. These days a carnivore can be arrested if they seem aggressive to an herbivore in any way. Okay, but if you just told them everything was fine, I'm sure they would have backed off. There's no crime if there's no victim. I read it in a magazine. As a carnivore, you'd be more popular if you could act a little cheerful. Don't you agree? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, come on, Lego. She smile more, toots. Haru really dishing out the microaggressions out on this bench here. I promise. Hey, cheer up. Give me a smile. Come on. No. Haru, back off. I don't know why Haru's giving off some big, like, creepy uncle vibes this episode. Come on, doll, give Haru a smile. Don't thank me. Just enjoy yourself. 
Now smile. For the love of God, Lego she give the woman a smile. Let it go, Haru. At this point, I'm concerned she's trying to steal his teeth or something. I heard Bill got you. I hope Make sure to warm up. it doesn't leave a scar. Oh, I love where this is going. You kidding me? Of course I want to see an unhinged Lego she terrorizing this school. I can't tell if that's the direction this show is going. I can't tell if Lego she's like slowly becoming the antagonist or not. I'm sorry. My classmate who's a sloth really needed to use the restroom, so I carried her there. Jesus. Oh, sure. Blame the sloth. Thanks to the art department's hard work, the actors team can do our best and dance our hearts out. Mm. Dude, please give me more of this sassy, classy, eyelashy motherfucker. I need that face on a t-shirt. How did that face not get the Anya Forger treatment? Well, wolves are nocturnal, you know, so it feels better when it's darker. Oh, that's right. I'd forgotten that you're a wolf, too. How? Literally how? She couldn't be any more of a wolf if she were working on Wall Street. Fucking PC-ass Louie over here like, I don't see species. Give me your hand. Well... As long as you're dancing like you're enjoying yourself, the guys will love it. Oh my god, is this the making of a love square? A love pentagon if you include that bird guy. I think you hate me. What? <laughs> Actually, you hate all carnivores, don't you? <laughs> Juno the goddamn wolf, you goddamn dog, you! What is happening right now? What are you thinking? Is this going to lead into a kiss? No, of course not. Okay, but what about just a small one? I'd eat you. Tiny little smooch, like- You have to know that I don't like you. I like Legoshi. This is a declaration of war. Juno burst onto the scene like a force of nature. Look at her literally doming her way into a lead supporting character role. Let me tell you about your crush, Legoshi. <clears throat> You'll struggle a lot with him. Far more than you are aware. Lord knows I certainly have. What makes you say that? I'm gonna get Legoshi to notice me no matter what! Better dear than you have tried. Shoot, it's so late. Louis is already gone? Dom, how do you have so much energy? Oh, you're goddamn right his name is Dom. If it's okay with you, will you be able to- <laughs> Oh my god, is someone about to get murdered? This is gonna turn into a whodunit? It's so dark. I'm scared. I can't see anything. Guys, it's okay. The lights just went out. It makes sense that everyone's scared. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm the asshole. <sighs> what a relief. Louie, you came for me. All right, Lego She, you know what to do. Go on, take a bite. I can't believe I did that. <sighs> no, no. I'm just glad you're okay, Haru. Oh my god! Lego she's about to fucking snap! N no that can't be. Dude, there are too many psychopaths in this show. If it's not Lego she, it's Louie. If it's not Louie, it's Bill. If it's not Bill, it's Juno. I feel like it's 1914, and I'm just waiting for somebody to murder Archduke Ferdinand. Alright, Beastars uh, episodes whatever and whatever. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of these two. Let, let me know what else you want to see me watch. <laughs> okay, what do I even say about this one? It, be it began with the eggs, which was the craziest shit I'd ever seen. Uh, <laughs> and now we're here, and now we've got just like four lunatics all at each other's throats. But again, I maintain that it's super cool to make one of those lunatics an herbivore. Anyway, that's my piece. Uh... You know, like the video if you liked it. I will see you guys next time. Call me back, cause I would like to talk.